posted this picture of Brian Tyree Henry. It was like, this was him and then this was him. People in the comments were saying, oh, they got him, oh, they got him. And I just couldn't help but laugh. I wouldn't even front. When I first saw him as Paperboy in Atlanta, I was like, oh, this is a former D-boy, former street dude from Atlanta turned actor. So I, he was so good in the role, I saw him as that. As his career started to blossom and things started to move forward, this version of Brian made more sense. Now, Brian has not come forward and specified what he is or what he isn't, but this Brian makes more sense than, than Paperboy Brian does. And I also believe when he started to incorporate more of himself, Paperboy was a much better character in the long run. The idea of them getting Brian Tyree Henry is just silly. Clearly, this is who he is. This is who he's always been. He's just slowly becoming more comfortable in who he is. And that's perfectly fine. Hollywood doesn't get everybody. Hollywood can be a weird place, but it does not get everybody. Sometimes people are just who they are when they came into Hollywood. So I just randomly thought about something. I don't know. It makes sense, but maybe it doesn't make sense. Maybe the Montague episode of Atlanta really shaped a lot of people's true perception of who Brian Tyree Henry is. Maybe they saw this person who stood fast and stood tall, stood on business about their beliefs in something as that is who Brian Tyree Henry really is. That may be the reason why people can't differentiate between Paperboy and Brian Tyree Henry. So maybe that's why they believe that Hollywood, Holly Weird got him because of that particular scene. Maybe it shaped their idea of the identity of Brian Tyree Henry. This is just a maybe, but as I thought about it, I'm thinking maybe that Montague episode impacted how people saw Brian Tyree Henry. I wonder if this idea works in reverse too. I'm not gonna lie. Jasmine Jobson, when I first saw her in Top Boy, I truly thought, I thought Jack was the real her. I thought that's who she was, but she's just so good in the role that she makes you think that. So does it work in reverse? Do they turn lesbians into straight people? Mm -hmm. 